I think that's it, guys. I think we have entered into the new area. Pillars of Creation. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy. Gave me an end in this episode. We are going to go out and about and continue questing. We're going to take um, some new quests from our NPCs and basically going to grab whatever they have. And uh, I'm hoping that fairly soon here we can uh, get into the new area, Pillars of Creation. Um, and there's a southern caravan thingy there. That We don't have a quest for that, though, do we? Not yet, but maybe we will get that quest from one of these guys. And I still do, of course, have these quests, but these are just some chests to find that we'll get around to doing at some point. Let's see what the carpenter has for well, us. Gotta get masonry tools. Want to hear a joke? Carpenter without masonry tools. That's it. That's the joke. I'm a farce, a poser. I need proper tools, but the blacksmith won't lend me his. Go figure. Well, maybe because you stole from him, dude. I know where to get some masonry tools, though. Does the research site at Pillars of Creation ring a bell? Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. That's what's going to send us to Pillars of Creation. Excellent. Okay. Um, then we'll be able to learn the stone fence and nine more um, items at the carpenter. New location charted. Markers added. All right. Finding masonry tools. Let's see. Okay, so that gives us a a spot where we can go, and I guess that's going to be a passageway for us to get into the Pillars of Creation. Very cool. Okay. Uh, we can probably fast travel to here. I keep an altar next to Fawn Song Frontier because this is a really good place to go to farm scrap metal. Um, yeah, that'll probably be the best place for us to go. Okay, so that's the Carpenter's Quest. Does Farmer have anything for us? She does not, okay? What about you? You got something. You got two somethings. A strange letter. Flameborn. Some time ago, a curious thing happened. I received a note. Take a look. From Reagan. Courtesy, courtesy, courtesy of the Conways. I've never met a Reagan, but I know the Conways. Couriers from the east. They must have traveled through trade outpost Blazing Rock to deliver the message. Can you investigate? Well, Blazing Rock, that's uh, definitely a hint on how to get in there. So, yeah, these guys are definitely gonna lead us into the new area that's cool um and they also we also have hearts of iron you got what it takes flameborn i'll let you in on something the best iron ore oh yeah we need to get into iron can be gathered at ridgeback mine to deep below the shroud don't fret with a high enough shroud passage level it shouldn't stop yeah speaking of which we we need to upgrade our uh our flame but we're gonna need to get into the pillars of creation to get the stuff to do it because um, it needs mint mushroom meat, fossilized bone, ammonia gland, tin ore, Rui Ru Ru boss, I guess, Rui boss, and a fell monstrosity head. None of that stuff can be found here in the spring lens as far as I'm aware. Okay, and then do you have anything new for us? You do not. Okay, and lastly, let's check the hunter... And you also do not have anything new for us. Okay. Uh, how many arrows do I have? 340. That's pretty good. Um, I've decided, and I think we went over this in the last episode, I decided that I'm going to keep these marksman gloves for when we do have to go into the shroud. But we'll use the guard of the north gloves otherwise because we get 4% increase on magic ranged and melee damage. But it also removes a minute of our time in the shroud. You know, one way we could... Uh, compensate for that though is I do have I do have these larger greater shroud survival flasks. Let's actually grab those. I'm gonna grab these smaller um, healing potions too. And it looks like we might want to make another stack of heal channels and a couple more wisps of light. Make two of those and make one of those. Okay, so that gets us in pretty good shape there with all of that stuff. And we got a good supply of food. Maybe let's make one more little batch of popcorn. Um, she makes them in uh, batches of five for us. Okay, we got that going. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah, okay, so we're fully rested in 43 minutes. Let's set out. 
So we want to go to uh, to here. All right, and then we're heading southeast. So that's the blacksmith's request. That's finding masonry tools. Okay, let's just set Glimmer Rock Mine as our waypoint, and it's not very far from here. And when we get into, uh, start getting into combat and stuff, then I'll eat my buff foods. Okay, I've poked my head in here before, but I haven't, um, I haven't actually gone all the way through. Okay, let's also take one of those and one of these. All right, we're about as buffed up as we can get. Oh, I did upgrade and switch to this um, uh, this bow, arsonist bow. It's got the same power as the Fell Commander bow, but it also gives us stamina leech and an extra point of stamina. This one does stamina leech too, but it doesn't give us the extra point of stamina. So the, the bows are almost even Steven pretty much, except for the this one gives us just a tiny bit more stamina. Not a ton more, but it's a bit more. Okay, let's head on into Glimmer Rock Mine. Turn that into salvage. Uh, there's an exploding barrel next to that chest. There we go. That's one way to deal with him quickly. This guy doesn't even see me. He's one of those dual-wielding bastards that are pretty tough. There's a little backstab shot there. All right, let's conserve arrows. Man, I love Blink. Oh, I didn't time that one right. Got that extra 4% melee damage now with these gloves on. Alright, let's take one of these. I want to use these small healing flasks up because I mostly just use the large ones now. Um, okay. I was going to gonna do something I can't remember what it was now so let's just keep going here uh, is there a guy up there I don't know let's get all the loot from what we just blew up here all right we got a bunch of exploding things here did that open this area up not really all right, let's just see what's in here real quick there's a flame altar. Is this where we need to go to get the... Oh, no, not quite. Okay. Two sparks. Nice. Anything else over here? That's just to dismantle some explosive powder. Okay. Okay. basically go straight ahead that way what's in here though oh another one of you trying to do a better job at getting headshots. There we go. That's a pretty nice little chunk of copper there. Explosive barrels.
All right, what's back here? Nothing. It's a dead end. Okay. There's a guy way over there. And we're just hitting the damn fence. He's dead. I love those double shots, man. Those are awesome. Okay, we got another Mr. Green Jeans here. Looks like he's stuck. I can't... Uh, actually, if I stand out here... He did. And then I heard one more guy... Yeah, it's that same guy that's over there. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's get the stuff from him. And we killed a couple of guys down in here. Get the scrap metal. I don't know how much more we'll be using scrap metal once we get into iron. I guess we still need it for, like, lockpicks and stuff, so... Let's grab the camo meal. Oh, here we go. We're finally entering a new territory. I think. I always pick up flax. I've been told, well, I haven't been told, I've learned that uh, we're going to need a ton of that stuff later on. Or more specifically, linen. All right, I guess we'll go through here. Gate to the Pillars of Creation. Nice. All right, so in here we should find the masonry tools. And this is an enshrouded area, so let's go back out here. And what I'm going to do... I want to get rid of a couple of these things. We just don't need them. Taking up space. Um... Let's take a, a big flask, and I think I'm going to keep these gloves on, just so we keep our 4% higher buff. We still have Flask of the Fell, and we still have the Elixir buff going, too. Let's refresh our popcorn and our health, health stuff, and then we're good to go. All right, let's do this. Um, any clues about the carpenter needs masonry tools to unlock more that it can be gathered from a research site at the Pillars of Creation. The site might not be here. This might just be the passageway to get through. We have two quests from the blacksmith. Hearts of Iron. Oh no, this is Carpenter. All right, well, let's just keep moving and we'll see what happens here. We got bugs. Somebody was telling me to destroy the these these things and because that's their spawner, but easier said than done, man. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. Oh, what was that? A little baby bug. Let's go this way. Yikes. Pillars of creation. Spawn point. Are the bugs following me? Alright, I think we're good. If I break these jars will we get some higher level stuff 
Extraordinary glider at the carpenter. Leather. Nice. Yeah, see, when you come into a new higher area, large backpack. It's a good idea to loot this stuff because it'll unlock recipes. Copper bar. Uh, what's that? Antiseptic. Cleaned band bandage at Hunter. Oh, nice. See, we're already finding some good stuff. We haven't even walked all the way out the door yet. Yeah, yes. I wonder if it's, uh, works better to use the pick to break those instead of the axe. Inner Sanctum. All right, we have a place we can sleep. So do we go... Oh, this is so cool in here. This is like a, a cliff-dwelling place. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know this, I, I live in Colorado. And in southwestern Colorado, we have the the uh, Pueblo Indian, um, you know, cliff, uh, cliff dwellers, dw dwelling places. Blah, blah, blah. It's a national park and you can go there and take a tour. You got a, a park ranger that leads you around the park and you have to climb up these ladders and down these ladders and, you know, to get to the cliff houses. And it's just really cool. If you ever get a chance to go to Mesa Verde is what it's called in Colorado. Uh, do it. It's really cool. Okay. Anyway, uh, we got, what looks like lava down there. Uh, it looks to me like it's starting to get dark. So, I <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know how far away from this bed I want to go. But let's let's go this way first. Yeah, looks like it's just debris. Strange structure. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're not going that way. Let's go around this direction. This is all a bunch of debris, like a rock slide. See, this is all dark looking rock like coal or something that looks like aloe vera but it doesn't let me pick it just out of curiosity no, that's just considered rubble okay uh what the hell is that oh it's a tumbleweed <laughs> check that out Oh, that's neat. You guys are going, he's getting that excited about a tumbleweed? <laughs> it's it's neat from a physics, a game physics standpoint because you can move them and stuff. Oh, man, that's cool. All right. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything over here. I could swear that's aloe vera. So... And it is nighttime, so let's go sleep in that bed, and then we'll proceed up the ramp on the other side there. All right, let's move on. Not seeing anything to loot in here. Oh, there's a chest. Yep. Shroud meteor shower. Okay. Okay. If you say so. What's back this way? Uh, okay, we'll go that way later. Let's explore this camp first. Tin bars. All right. Eternal chain heal. Oh, that's what we need. That's what we need is the eternal chain heal. Okay, cool. Okay, we already have those two things. New theories. I must reconsider my studies before I believe this mountain of pillars of creation to be an active volcano. 
The pit of lava is proof. I figured the top of this mass must have been ripped open during a prehistoric eruption, shaping the land as we know it. And the strange structure, well, perhaps a place of prayer and solace built by the ancients in an earlier age. Sadly, I was not the first to see it. Another expedition arrived before me. Eastern folk led by a uh, Nala. They believe it's a gateway of some kind. Truly interesting. I will rethink my theories. Caspian. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. More tin bars. We'll take those. Tin. I think tin ore is what we need for the one of the ingredients to strengthen the flame. Bronze bars! All right. Nice. Uh, we need bronze bars for something, too. I just don't remember. Stone door. And nine more at Carpenter. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we have a trap a doodle there. We'll just jump right over the top of that. And some doors. Is there anything else around this way? Oh, that's probably going to be the tools over there where that pink stuff is. All right, I want to try something. Let me try and break these... Oh, yeah, the pick works a lot better than the axe for that stuff. A feather. It's the first time I've seen one of those. Backpack is full. And I think... I don't think I want to get rid of anything else. Okay, so that freed us up a couple slots. Uh, there was something here to loot. Oh, we don't need salt. So I'll throw all that in. Shroud Meteor Shower. A Greater Shroud Survival Flask. Beautiful. Okay, let's proceed. Oh, shoot. That scared me. <laughs> One of these deals, huh? Is this door open? Yes, it does. And we got a chest in here. Silver storm uh, wand, I think, right? That's 34 damage, 32 damage. It's a slight upgrade. Let's take it. It does. Sh oh, it does shock and ice. Oh, nice. Okay. We'll salvage that. Nice. I like that. <laughs> Time that just right. Oh, for Pete's sake. Is this something I'm supposed to break through or not? Yep, I think so. Here, let's do this. Hmm. Did I blow something up that was in here? Usually when that happens, though, what's this? Limestone. Oh, well, that's new. Okay. <clears throat> um. Usually, when you blow something up, though, that whatever was in it falls out on the ground. Maybe this is what I was supposed to get to—is the limestone. Um. Let's get a stack of it, so that way we have it, and then you know I'm sure we'll need it for something. Jeez, man, how much does this stack up to? That's all I'm going to get right now is 120. Okay, let's get rid of this and proceed.
All right. Is there anything behind this wall? Doesn't appear to be. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, okay. Let's uh, buff up here. Okay. This is really cool. I'm really enjoying this. I mean, I've been enjoying this game from day one. I'm going to grab these real quick. Um, our pick's going to... We're out here pretty soon, though. Prayer of Flame Scroll. You know what? Actually, I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm going to stop doing that. I want to keep my pick <coughs> from completely breaking um, in case we need it for something important. Flame Shield. Ooh. All right, let's. So this has 11 block. 43 power and 100 durability. 12 block, 47 power. Oh, yeah, definitely an upgrade. That probably doesn't do anything. Yeah, let's just go. Go up this way. Ah, the door doesn't open for us. Do we have a grappling point? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. And we have ourselves a button there. And one there. And looks like it's just those two that we needed to do. A chest in here. Fossilized bone arrow. Uh, 17 damage versus 14 damage. Okay. Very cool. And a better bandage. 6% healing per second instead of 4%. Alrighty. I like it. Ancient Obelisk. Energy welling from deep inside the core. A light erupts, breaching the boundaries of space itself. A door to be opened by the flame touch. The brightest of sparks will walk a path lined by fire and illuminate what is shrouded in shadow. Never let the stars be extinguished. Never douse the sun. Rise above all, a legacy to last an eternity. Uncover the masonry tools in the research camp. Okay, so I don't... I don't know if that did anything. Maybe we just completed a quest to see it. Ancient obelisk. Oh, you know what? We never we never went down that other tunnel. So we got an, a lower tunnel. And this upper path. Let's look at the map here. So the masonry tools are probably up there. Okay, so that means we want to go up this way. Yeah, that tunnel way back down there, we never went down. But at this point, I want to keep going... Um, And yeah, and put down a um a, fr a flame altar pretty soon, just so we have a spawn point. There we go. All right, so we completed the quest for the masonry tools. I completely fumbled it. The ominous structure. We cannot decipher its meaning, 
Caspian, that Cretan, asked about our progress. I just stammered and made something up. Said that it's a gateway to the stars, that the ancients built it to open a path to the sky, fueled by the energy of fire. I think he bought it. I don't want Caspian to figure this out before us. I plundered his masonry tools and hid them in our own camp. If Lorraine Krim was here, she'd judge me, but oh well. Guess the dam is keeping her busy. Nala. All right. What is that? Acid bite. What do you do with it? Oh, you put it in a staff. I see. Okay. Interesting. Um. Okay. What do we got here? Basic stuff. I'd like to find a a repair station. just kind of fun to look around you know they had like a little market here with some stalls it looks like is there anything else more over this way yeah we got a chest with more acid bite what I what I kind of want to do is I want to get out of this cavern However, we do that and set down a flame altar. Okay, let me look at these quests. So we found the masonry tools. Blacksmith. Okay, so wait a minute. What? I guess doing this will also get us some kind of um, new tools for the blacksmith. And this is the iron mine. All right, where is this at? Oh, wow, that's way over there. Okay. What about this? That's like really close by. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can complete this quest before we wrap up today's episode. I, I hopefully we can. I don't know. That still might be a ways away. Let's go all the way up here and see what happens. This is so cool, man. So, so they were saying this was like a volcano. We're really high up. I think that's the way out. It's not something glowing right there, but it might have just been a graphical glitch. Okay, here we go. I think that's it, guys. I think we have entered into the new area. Pillars of Creation. Well, I don't know if that's what the entire area is called, but I still think we should be able to harvest this. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down a flame altar right here. Uh, or close to here. And I'm going to need some stone for that. Alright, let's make one of those. And just plop it down right here for now. Oh, you know what, though? Hmm. I might not be able to put this down. Let me see. That's kind of a... Yeah, shoot. Doggone it. Oh, man. You know what that means? That means we're going to have to come all the way back here on foot again. Gosh dang it. Okay. Well, can't do anything about it right now. I don't suppose there's any way you can remove an altar from distance. No, I don't think you can. All right. Well, let's just keep going then. Um, I, I do know we need to go back down and go through that tunnel at some point, too. But... Let me look at this again. Let's let's see. Like I said, if we if we can do this blacksmith. The thing is, though, you know what? When it's got all these diamonds, that means you you have to go to multiple places. So I don't know if we're gonna make that. This is too far away for us to get to. I think in this episode. 
So, all right, well, let's go. Let's just go a little bit further, and then we're gonna probably have to wrap things up here. Maybe we could at least go do the first part of the the blacksmith thing. That's actually kind of far away, though. What is this southern caravan business? Hmm. Let's go into this cave. Oh, those are new enemies. They look like tigers of some sort. drop same same stuff as the as it, the other guys the other critters okay are they guarding anything over here is this limestone too it kind of looks like it yeah it is okay so that's easier to come by than I thought we didn't need to mine all that stuff up but we have it now so Nope, wrong, wrong key. Cave passage. All right, let's pop one of these. There's two ways to go. There's left and right. What was that? There's one of those big, uh, wait, what the hell is that? Is that one of those big hair guys? Or is that something else? I think it's one of the big hair guys. The VUCA or whatever they're called. Level 18. all this stuff Good to go there uh, we'll use another one of those and the flask of the fell delete that let's go ahead and fight this boss guy Is he, uh, what's he doing? Is he stuck? Let's go with these better arrows. He did. Shadow Bane. Twenty power, but not. This is twenty-two, but this is fully upgraded. This this has four upgrades. Ah, oh, that's cool looking. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably be upgrading that, and that may become our main bow. What the hell are that? Oh. 
boiled eggs and raw bird meat. Nice. We just got some new recipes at the farmer. I love it. We have no room. We have no room for all this shit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the chamomile. And I know I said we needed lots of flax. And we do. But under the circumstances. Um... Oh, here's one of those uh, buff thingies. All right, cool. Makes us a little tougher. Here's more eggs. This place is like a maze in here, man. Okay, how far away are we from this? We're still a long ways away. Okay. Um, alright guys. Well, I think... Did we miss something on him? How come he's still glowing? No? Uh, I think we're gonna have to wrap it up here because... I think we're... Just too far away from the even the first stage of the blacksmith quest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go all the way back home. Uh you know, get fixed up and all that. And then I'm gonna have to walk all the way back here on foot again to set a flame altar down. After I pick, you know, one up in the springlands. So I'm gonna get that done and then when I'm ready, we'll go ahead and start the next episode and we'll just keep pressing forward here in to, I guess, I guess this is called Pillars of Creation. Um, I, I don't know what the region itself is called, so. And it's good to know we can farm feathers off these guys too. Let's go, what, what goes up this way? And so with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. Oh shit. Oh, that's a spike trap. Youch. Watch out for those things. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye.